welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Relax, take a seat, grab your favorite coffee cup, and let's get down to beautiness, honey, because today we are doing one of my current favorite eye looks, and I gotta tell you, baby, I am super excited about this one, because any and every beauty out there could totally rock it. I'm talking neutral lovers, Instagram glam, smoky eye, cut crease or not, dolled up or toned down, baby, everybody can get with this one. So today I will be primarily using the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, but honestly we are going to be using some of the more generic shades that are in this palette, so if you don't have this one, no worries, honey. There are plenty of others out there that you can substitute this with, like off the top of my head, if you've got the Jaclyn Hill palette, any of the Morphe 35Os, the Colourpop Yes Please, or even the new Violet Voss hashtag palette, I believe it is. Girl, they could all do a version of this. We're going to start off with a light dusting of Desert Sand here. You can use any cream shade or lighter neutral shade. Just a, just a little something to put down and get things going. Just going to throw it all over the place. On another note, girl, I have had a rough day. I had the worst brow day I have had since I can't remember. Look at this. Can you see how red that is? I... Oh my gosh, I tried like a million times to get this brow right. I legit forgot how to do my brows overnight and just couldn't hack it today. And I wiped my face so many flipping times and it took me hours to do this. I am ashamed to admit, but I made it happen. Now that we have laid the foundation, honey, we are going in with Blazing, which is a bright matte orange, and it's going to be our first transition color. Just going to throw a little bit here. Ooh, that burns. You could totally go in with the orange right off the bat if you're looking to get a more dramatic look out of it, but I feel like laying the neutral down first dials it back just enough for it to still be colorful, yet a good springtime look. And speaking of colorful, we're going in with the red next, believe it or not. Now, we aren't going to go in like super crazy, but just enough. Ooh, that comes up real easy there. And we're going to put that right in our crease a little bit lower than the orange that we just laid down. And look, even though it's somewhat of a bright color combination, I feel like it's a really, really pretty transition shade. When you have a really stark difference between transition shades, Girl, it always helps to go back in with a clean blending brush and just buff her out a bit and smooth her out. I didn't buff the red up super high, just enough so that you can see it kind of crest in my hooded eyelids and it just gives like a ooh pop of red. So we are moving on to our next shade, Oud. Thank you, Miss Fonda, for telling me how to pronounce that. Girl, I've been wondering for a hot minute. And we are going to take a smaller yet stiffer blending brush and put just a little bit of this on our outer corners. And lately, I've discovered that doing this kind of sweep instead of just blending it about really kind of does something. I don't know how else to explain it. I think y'all get me, though. And I'm going to push this a little bit into my crease as well. So now I'm just taking that clean blending brush again and buffing out the inner line there just to smooth it out a bit. Now you don't have to cut your crease or anything, but I'm going to. I'm not really going for like a super high cut cut crease. I'm just trying to brighten up the inner half of my eye there. So I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Smooth Canvas.
And I'm going to take it just a little bit further than half. Now as far as evenness goes, don't worry too much about that because we're going to take just a smidge of oud again and just smooth out the rough edges. And then we are going to go in with the gold, which is Nefertiti. It's a lighter yellow gold, and you could really use any gold shade that you have laying around, so no worries. Now, because this one is kind of gritty, I'm going to take it on my fingertip and throw her on that way. Ooh, it's really pretty, though. So this is where we're at, and we're going to continue on with a pop of color. I'm going in with this green shimmer from City Color. It's in the shade Beach Cottage, and it's actually one of my favorite greens. Really pretty, like, gold shine back to it. Mm, I love it. And I'm going to take it on this little brush. Now, I know it's blue, but it's just stained from when I did the blue the other day. And I am also going to spray it with some setting spray to make it shimmer even brighter. Now you can go in with whatever green shadow you have, whether it's a shimmer or a matte, and I'm just gonna throw it on the edge here. And ta-da! Now we have green on our eyelids. Now to even it out, we're going to take just a little bit of the dark brown. And just smooth her out a bit. We're going to do the other side. We're going to take a flat shadow brush with a touch of that gold. And just come in from the other way. And just kind of pat it on. Maybe blend her out a bit. Girl, there is so much fallout and glitter on my face right now. Whew. I'm going to give up on the battle for now, but we're going to carry on and smoke out our lower lash line. Since our eyes are kind of intense, we're going to keep it simple on the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with amber right here, which is kind of like a terracotta reddish brown shade. And we're going to put that all along our lower lash line. A little pro tip for you when you're done smoking at your lower lash line, take a larger shader brush or even like a small blending brush and just go along the bottom edge and blend it out a bit. For my inner corner and face highlight, I'm going to go in with this lighter gold from the Carly Bible Palette that's from BH Cosmetics. I haven't used these highlighters in a while and I love them so much. They are fabulous. I'm gonna throw that on there. Go back in with that gold highlighter for my cheeks. Give her a good spray or two just for good measure. Not that you even really need it with these highlighters. They are so pretty. You know, one thing about BH Cosmetics is that they actually have some really good products. Some of them have been flops for me, but the highlighters and the concealer, pretty dang good. Now I'm going to take some of the Hush Blush that we got from BoxyCharm and throw her on there as well. Though I think any, like, brick to neutral shade of blush would look really nice with this. For my lips today, I used this Buxom Lip Liner and this Matte Liquid Lipstick from Beauty Crop in Date Night. Both are some of my, like, all-time favorite products. That's all she wrote, folks. So let me know down in the comments what you thought. Um, you know, maybe I lied. Maybe this isn't a neutral eye look at all, but for me, it's, it's neutral. It's got brown and gold in it. That's neutral. Uh, so yeah, let me know down in the comments if you think this is neutral or not. But show me some love down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And go out and spread some love and positivity today, baby. We could all use some extra. You're beautiful.
and I love you. Bye, everyone.